This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Hello and welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. This is a weekly dose of Technolus. And it's awesome. Thanks for joining us, guys. Welcome back. We have a CES hangover. He does. We all do. I had caffeine, so I'm not feeling that bad. Oh. But you know what? I, actually, my throat is a little sore. Yeah, mine too. You yeah. Got, you got it too. We probably had the CES flu, Ugh. but I'm, I'm trying to survive by drinking lots and lots of hot tea so I don't notice it as much. I'm it's having... I sound a little bit like a man, but asparagus and broccoli and spinach. See, that'll do the trick. It sounds very healthy. That's good stuff. CES was fun. We got tons and tons of segments. I feel very productive. I think the whole week was very organized, and mm -hmm. it was it was really good this year. I had a good time. It was fun. We survived it. We did. I can't. Oh, I, you need a nap. You poor thing. I have a Vegas limit, you know. Six days yeah. in Vegas is yeah. horrible. So I know what you mean. Anyway, we're back to the regular techno lust. So hooray for that! <laughs> and um, I'm I'm glad that we can float our C our Q1 on this and and uh, keep bringing you guys the awesome stuff. So, yeah. You know that's what's up. Um, we have a new set. We do. I, I really like what you guys did. So apparently the guys were up until like 4 a.m. yesterday building this new set. And I got to say, it looks really nice. Part it doesn't look tired. completely finished yet. So I'm assuming this is like a beta. Yeah, it's kind of like, um, you remember in Empire Strikes Back, it was like, it was mostly functional. Yeah. It's just little bits and pieces weren't there. So we're working <laughs> right, on it. Yeah, We'd love to hear your suggestions. <laughs> this is, I think, like the seventh or eighth iteration of the set. Uh, wow. Since 2005, so I would love to see a compilation of images from each set, Do you hear just that, Paul? to see the growth from season one all the way to season whatever we're on now. Uh, almost Ten? eleven. Wow. We uh, actually, speaking of which, this is episode uh, season ten, episode twenty-one. I don't care what the file what you downloaded. No, I don't care what the file you downloaded says in the file name. This is season ten, episode twenty-one. We're on a twenty-six episode release cycle. The season ends on February twenty-second, twenty twelve. That's two twenty-two twelve. Right. Um, and it's just a crazy conversation, and we have to have with our network. So we're just going to pretend like yeah. those crazy numbers that you're seeing didn't we'll happen. Leave it we'll like it is. Continue on. Well, yeah, we'll just we'll just. Shh. Continue yes. our numbers. Nobody's worried. So um, one of the, my favorite things about CES, sorry, I had such a good time, mm -hmm. is the fact that when you go, you get all sorts of really cool swag. Because yeah, people just kind of like overs. stand in the lanes of the, um, the football field rows, and they hand you stuff. And you're just like, thanks, I guess so. Oh, flashlight, cool. Another uh, screen wiper, awesome. But one of the things we get is like USB flash drives. Yeah, we pretty much stock up on thumb drives for the year because, you know, with all the Linux distros and crazy stuff we're always trying, we always need, like, spare drives to flash. Yes. And it's nice because you end up with these little one and two giggers with uh, uh, press kits on them so that yeah. you can... They're the perfect all. size for, like, bootable Linux distros, I have to say. Uh, you know, I noticed something about them. I got, like, this isn't all of them. I've given some away already, but it's, like, I got a ton here. Yeah, I got um, these... <laughs> It's insane. And I think my f you got like my favorite we one is uh, Chewbacca right oh, here. Oh, see, that's super cute. Isn't it adorable? You know, the thing I've noticed, though, is uh, I got uh, this one from Gorilla Glass. Yeah. You got I, I that got one this from... this one from X3D. HZO. Oh, there's there's another one from HZO oh, that looks very similar. Oh, here's another one from HZO. And, uh, oh, have you noticed something see. about all these? Garmin. Yeah. Oh, Garmin. Oh, those look those just like... Those poor guys. They're try trying so hard hmm. to stay relevant. Here's... Here's another one, Those another look one, like another one. Our ducky this, cases. Yeah, this is the exact. This is a rubber ducky. Inside of this is it's one the of exact same thing. These. And so, how wonderful is that? This makes me wonder mm -hmm. if we just happen to go to CES with a whole bunch of rubber duckies with mm -hmm. some kind of payload installed, and we mm -hmm. just started handing them out. How many people would go home and plug them into your, their machines thinking, oh, cool, press kit, awesome. Probably every journalist that Free goes topic. to the show, that which is all run so Windows. and insecure. But and you know why we don't free. do this is because remember what happened to Gizmodo when they sent a yeah. journalist to CES with a TV be gone. We're good at <laughs> conferences. No yeah. pineapples, no duckies. Yeah, we're not going to pull that stuff. 
Revision 3 would hate us if we got them kicked out of CES for oh the life God, of Oh my God, that them. would be yeah. so bad, so bad. Yeah. But you know what we'll We're do instead? We're not malicious anyway, we'll, so it's not our MO. I, I don't necessarily need so many for for myself, so many of these USB flash drives. So I'm going to give give away some of these as like trivia winners and stuff like that. And I promise you're, I you're, won't put any paid loads on them. You're giving away the the froggy? The frog, yeah. Well, my cat got bored of it, and I was like, oh, well, maybe somebody would like it. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Let's move on to gifts from a fan. Yay! So we did get a gift. I like gifts. It's a cool gift, too. Well, I wouldn't know, actually. Have you looked at it? I haven't. No! I have no idea what this is. I might have. I think that's everything. Here, ah. why don't you take this, and I will... T oh, oh, no! <laughs> so, this is from Paul. He says, hey, heck, Vive. Siri, are you kidding me? That's so been there, done that, got the t-shirt. What? Here's the Listener 1000 voice recognition card for the Commodore C64, a product of early microcontroller pioneer MicroMint. Founded by Steve, my favorite programming language is Sodder. Ciarcia? Ciarcia? I'm not sure how to say his last name. Dude, it came with a headset, now lost, and kind of, sort of works. 1984 price was $149, so it's about $340 in today's dollars. Enjoy! Wow. Look I wonder if we could find the headset for this. I wonder if we could find a C64 for this. Oh Let's call Jerry. Wouldn't that oh be my fun? god, this is insane. <gasps> oh, I bet she had one. You uh, know what? Let's we have her down. On the show. Yeah, yeah, we should. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Actually, I saw her at CES. You know, she's uh, doing stuff for Valve now. Ooh. Making hardware ooh, for Steam or whatever. I don't know. <gasps> yeah. It's, that's Wait, exciting. Wait, hardware for Steam? Or I didn't. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I have no freaking clue. So this isn't inside anything. I just know that you know Jerry's a hardware person. Now she works at Valve. So eh, anyway. I saw her over the like music Val. booth where we interviewed a uh, cyborg. So we'll have that running for Ooh. you guys next week. It's pretty cool. Yes, um, that was awesome. But dude, Paul, dude, thank you so much for the board. This is ridiculous. Yeah. I love how it looks super handmade. It's so beautiful. It is. Yay. God, I love geeky stuff like that. It's We're going to so have sexy. a museum here soon. You we hear will. that, Digi Barn? We're we should create a big you. glass case of all of our awesome museum type things from the 80s and 70s and stuff like that. Cool, we can put you in it. So stay tuned because in just a bit we're going to be having Dual Core in 80 joining us for a kick-ass segment on PXE booting. First let's take a quick break and then we're going to be checking in with Dale Chase for his Nerdcore CES wrap-up. Domain.com is owning the competition with cheap domain names and no hassle service. And our Hack5 fans are making Domain.com one of the fastest growing domain registrars in the world. And if you're setting up a website to show off your pictures of your cat or your new boning skills or do something maybe more business related, Domain.com is the best place to buy a domain name for your new idea. And Domain.com's easy checkout process makes it great and super easy to find the domain name and set up websites with no hassle. Domain.com's domain discovery system shows you the available domain names and makes it easy to choose the extension that's right for you. You know, so you can find a sweet.com or even get a .co and save a character. Or if you already have a domain name somewhere else, it's cool. Just go ahead and transfer that over to domain.com for only $7.61 and you get an extra year for free. And get this, the domain.com folks are huge fans of Hack5, so they want to hook you guys up. So use the coupon code HAK5 to get 15% off your next domain purchase or transfer, which would make your transfer only $6.47. How's that, huh? Anyway, don't forget, when you think domain names, think domain.com. Sonic, bring social to your HD via Viera Connect. Comment and tweet 
about what's showing on the new service. Sharp brought the crazy HD display, the insane 85 inch 8K. Resolution so high, it's criminal. Six times HD, 32 million pixels. So LG made me a believer in 3D with their massive array of LCDs. Showing off the innovative technology. I wear those dumb glasses, it looks fantastic. All the Wi Fi staying plugged in and stuff. Thanks.